Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your September reading. Please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Come and visit this as many times as you need to within September because it is a future prediction in it. Um, you might also want to check it at the end of this September and see, interesting I said December here. Um, but end of September, I nearly said December. So let's see if there's something around December timeline also coming in for you. But um, apart from Santa Claus, but apart from that, yeah. Okay, why am I going off guard? Maybe you guys are a bit scattered in your energy all over the place. Um, let's, let me finish my intro and then I'm going to get into what I'm channeling into your energy. So do revisit it at the end of September. You'll probably find that something also resonates even further for you. Like and subscribe and those that get the most views, shares, likes, comments and subscribers get bonus content. Um, so do do that if you're resonating with it. If not, then it's, you know, you do what you're called to do. Libra, um, what I'm feeling is like the, there needs to be a balance in September. If you're feeling like you're starting to work a bit too much or your balance is getting out of kilter you need to watch that i'm seeing like you know maybe get being all over the place work is really busy maybe it's actually where some of you have been feeling uh when you've just some of you have taken up a new chapter and i think it's to do with work it could be in a different area of life and that's where you're starting to get really busy and so you just need to make sure that you're honoring how you're feeling on your rest days and following the rest you need some of you might have felt like something you've been waiting or a change in your directory trajectory of your life has taken some time but in september without pulling the cards i can see the movement on this so let's get into your cards for september for all the replacements please spirit fallout tied up woman holding a heart and your throat chakra one more and your third eye okay um some of you are feeling a bit attached bound and i'm not sure if this is self-inflicted where you're feeling like you're a bit hopeless you're tied to a situation um, some of you it's around love all right or it's around your relationships it's around um, yeah a partnership a relationship and you need to just check on that is that something that's actually um, making you feel like you've got a lack of freedom a lack of motion or movement forward I did say some of you might be feeling really stuck at this moment in time um, and there could also be a bit of drama moving around you and stopping you from moving forward. Even some technical blocks along with Mercury retrograde and maybe you're waiting on a contract, okay, for a job offer. Um, whatever's holding things up, the restriction might be a bit oppressive and quite heavy for you and kind of like, I can't move, I really feel um suffocated by this energy or it's just not making you feel very good and then the woman holding the heart is why i believe it's a lot of you it's also to do around love okay um and it could be that you need to actually express maybe you think you're express like the other person knows what on earth you're thinking or how you're feeling but i think with this this card it's saying that you need to express there could be someone that you actually have in your life master number 44 or around you that actually has um a very caring connection to you or you know even if you're a partner that loves you um and they could be good dealing through with their own uh family love overwhelm of emotions but a lot of you this is tied to love and i think you need to express how you're feeling um, I 
because the person is likely to be receptive and to hear you out. I think some of you are a bit overwhelmed with that over to, uh, all tied up card. And then when we've got the um, throat chakra and the third eye, it's really about you're getting the intuitive nudges and that's what's also, you know that you need to speak on this. There's something that you really need to speak on that you're not. And I think it's, it's, it's really important to honor your personal vision, the guides, the thoughts, and um, what you're intuitively picking up on the clarity of thought and vision and then expressing that okay that's what we're talking about with the throat and the third eye here very interesting libra um if you wanted to do an energy healing session for those chakras you can always contact me but i think there's going to be a clarity and thought of a process or expanding pr perspective around areas in your life and one is love and another could be where you've been feeling really really stuck if it's to do with like your career and work life balance but you need to voice whatever it is especially if it's to do with love or a partnership you know that's just not going in the right direction because this person looks very receptive and i'm not sure if they really know what you're actually feeling or what the hell is going on um but yeah Look at that thinking man and the daughter value new the career the new job or money that you've been waiting on is coming in some of you where it's been really uh, where you felt a bit stuck stagnant um this there's a change as you can see a new job career prospect those of you that have had that chapter shift in your life i think this is where you're gaining your first or second salary but there's movement here. There could also be recognition. You could be getting a promotion. With the thinking man, you're really using your discernment and you're in your heart. Um, heart. So some of you could be in your, in your emotions, but you're using your head quite a lot. And this tells me also that you are um, trying to use your wisdom of understanding certain things in life. It could also be where, like I said, you're very busy in your life uh and your work life and that needs to be in balance and you're not always in your head thinking um there could be a love interest with the woman holding the heart and the thinking man that comes your way there could be someone who expresses their love or um feelings towards you and you wasn't really aware of this But yeah, there's going to be either yourself or someone who comes in that assists you in kind of mental discernment clarity. Um, you need to pay attention as well. And um, maybe some of you need to have a little bit more discipline around certain areas in life. If you're overworking or some areas are out of balance, that's where you need to to the scales in a different um to like for example have rest all right um but pay attention to the signs and any advice you get or even what your logic is telling you during this time as well let's get you a couple of more cards community okay and the door to romance yes there's love coming in or there's more of an aligned you know if, if you're in a partnership and you speak up it's likely that you're going to rekindle the connection and not only are you opening the door to your career money and finance that's going to be looking great but there is love here both masters 33 master number 33 and 44 are significant for you the community says that you've got a, you know if you're stepping into a new job all right some of you i'm just getting that you might actually move home you might be moving home and that's around um the neighborhood you're moving to is really aligned is it, there's going to be caring connections soul tribe kind of vibe around you wherever you're moving into wherever whether it's your love life or the new work life or both all right there's a supportive community around you at work it's probably the team 
that are like-minded people and um, you're going to sort of like dream work, make the team work, but it's about having and sharing the same intentions, whether it's the personal or professional, this is like soul tribe energy as well, it's actually beautiful. Door to romance, those of you that are single, love could be coming in, could be uh, attracting Cancer Scorpio Pisces or Gemini Libra Aquarius in their top placements of, as well. Let's get you some more messages, um, Libra. I think it seems like you've got it all, but you just need to, um, a bit of balance and what is toxic? What is it that's keeping you tied up? A lot of you, I feel you need to voice whatever you need to voice, you know? Some of you, it could be what you want to voice because you're, you're not sure how to voice it, is write it down. Take it with bullet points so that you know what you're saying. Six of Cups is the soulmate connection, okay? Page of Swords is the communication that you need to deliver. Some of you, when it's to do with love or even a love that maybe you're not talking at the moment to, um, there could be some online spying here. But there's a, there is a soulmate connection for those of you that are not in a partnership. There's a soulmate connection. I think some of you, this person is actually stalking you a bit online, trying to think, trying to see, okay, how can I best approach them? How can I get in their inbox? How can I, with the thinking man as well, how can I move forward on this? How can I do it? Throughout September as well, Libra, you're going to be looking back on certain past memories of your childhood and they're just going to bring simple smiles to your face as well. And also then you also are having um feeling like you are needing to ground yourself you might be feeling a bit vulnerable at certain times this could be around love or the new love coming in or or where you need to express yourself um you might be feeling like you've needed to compete with their the people of their past um there's something around that that's just come up but this is about also it's about vulnerability it's about you know just really and if you're in competition for interviews you're getting that interview you're getting that job okay so where you felt stagnated and maybe you know the the interviews have taken a long time you will succeed at this with the seven of wands you're succeeding on this it's about continuing to go forward there's a lot around self-expression here and I think it's to make sure you understand yourself but also people are understanding um, what maybe you're facing, what, what you want to say that you're not sure how to deliver it. But like I said, if you're single, yeah, a lot of you like to hear about the love, there's a good connection coming in for you. So now we're going to take your challenge, a challenge for Libra please. A challenge in the month of September for Libra. Let's see what we've got. Four of Wands. Your challenge is probably going to be around family, love, home. Okay. This could be about, like I said, balancing it, expressing yourself. And when you express yourself, you're going to eliminate that challenge. The challenge is really, this Four of Wands card is usually a beautiful card um it's it's a momentum time of celebrating but when we've got it in the challenge i think for you it's saying you're you're forgetting the importance of simple things you're getting caught up in drama and you're there's a lack of harmony around you and you're feeling disconnected you're feeling immobilized and you can see it your first card and your challenge this month are are the same and the way to overcome it is like we've just said so let's see your blessing, a Libra. Blessing for Libra placements in the month of September. King of Pentacles, woo, coming out on top. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, because it was about to fall out, I'm gonna just show you it is judgment. It's actually being able to see things a lot clearly. And I think that comes in after you face where you need to express yourself, where you need to look at um, use discerning as well as tap into any emotions that feel a bit over um, overwhelming some area in your life you're feeling overwhelming the king of pentacles i mean that is just um the king of pentacles is basically a, a solid foundation you, you cannot be shaken you cannot be shaken when you get this it's 
it's your ultimate you know with the daughter value daughter romance you are taking leadership in your life this is about being paid if it's about the job being paid you know more than you had expected some of you if you're getting promoted you're getting promoted in the leadership there's a slight overflow there's a slight or a lot of overflow in material abundance for you and this is needed patience and determination and if you're a leader you you know your your blessing is that you're able to lead and you're a warm leader and people feel secure around you for you personally, you are stable. You feel comfort and secure around yourself because your finances are going in a beautiful direction. And this prosperity and success, and you're starting to see those coming in. You've reached an ultimate goal that you've wanted. And that's also where you come back into balance. So that's your blessing. I love this for you, Libra, for the month of September. It looks like a great September. And some of you it will be your... Um, birthday month so we st definitely want to take this out of the challenge and put it into a blessing so that this can be actually where you're celebrating your birthday and it goes beautifully like all your loved ones everyone you love is there it's just beyond what you really um ever expected but this is beautiful door to romance if this is not in challenges also some of you could have a fear of intimacy, by the way, fear of, of being expresses about your emotions, fear of intimacy. But with the daughter romance as well, um, you know, that could also mean that you decide once you've expressed yourself to lead down marriage or rekindle something around that. Moose is the wisdom. OK, beautiful. So let your head and your mind reach for the stars. Keep your feet grounded on earth. Listen to your ancient wisdom of your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. And I would say, Libra, you do. I think there was something about, you know, being in a newfound wisdom in your last reading of your last 10 days of August. And it seems like you're moving now. You're moving. You've started to understand that new wisdom. You just need to express it a little bit more. Come into balance. And there's a beautiful shift in all elements of your life. So, um, Libra, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in your next one, beautiful souls. Bye for now.